Dr. Helen Paul is a Nigerian comedian, singer, and actress. Her stand-up comedy character, Tata Fu, uses a voice range that makes her sound like a child, and this endears her to her audience. She has a Master of Public Administration and a Master of Business Administration from Ladoki Akintola University of Technology, Ogbomosho, Nigeria. She also has a Master of Arts, Theatre Arts major from the University of Lagos, as well as a doctorate in theater arts from the University of Lagos, Nigeria. She is a professor and head of the Department of Arts, Music and Entertainment, Hearts Bible International University, United States. She has a certificate in media enterprise from the School of Media and Communications, Han African University, and a certificate in leadership and administration skills from the Daystar Leadership Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, with a rouse innovation, please make welcome Dr. Helen Paul. You are making me shy. Oh my God, see how elders are standing for me? Oh God, you are great. Please turn to your neighbor and say, treat me well, you don't know tomorrow. <laughs> oh no, me, you don't know tomorrow. <laughs> turn to the other person, you are looking at the best of the best, oh. <laughs> All right, thank you, please be seated. <laughs> This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Hey, more in London. A disease. A. Praise God. All right, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm still your sister, your baby sister with a baby voice. My name is Ellen Paul. And... Um, I thank God for all the titles and what God has done for me. But um, like I said, my uh, topic, I was telling my mentor, my friend, my auntie, Pastor Nike Adeyemi, Atlanta Connection. I was telling her, I said, my topic is made from rejection. Some of us cannot take rejection. Some of us do not know that the words we say can make someone feel rejected forever. But in the way it worked for me, it was different. What Yoruba call akanda, a special child, appointed child, Okay, so you must have heard before where I shared on a stage saying I was born out of rape. And I grew up with my great-grandmother where everybody in the compound in the area will call me bastard. So I grew up hearing that you are a bastard. I grew up seeing my aunties come to give grandma money for feeding and they would tell grandma, we're not saying you should use this money to take care of one bastard child. We're saying you should use it to take care of yourself, buy your medicine. And mama will say, okay. Once they leave, mama will turn to me and mama will speak in pigeon. You don't hear waiting your auntie, them they talk. Now like so this word be you. Now people were supposed to be your mama blood be that too. 
but they don't tell you who you be. If you like, grow up, forget yourself. Say, person will not do well, nobody will celebrate them. And Mama would turn to me and say again in Isha, we be hobby meta. Can you hear what I'm saying? I'll say, me hobby weta. <laughs> Mama would say, eh. -eh. But I realized that every time I offend Mama, Mama would not want to touch me because they've warned Mama not to beat me. Imagine a child that the mother gave birth to and the mother is feeling sh ashamed because everyone in the area, so the shame, my mother didn't know what to do or to run to according to what she told me. So sometimes she, was, she would just carry me without Nemo. She would be looking for where to eat. So she said one day she went to Makoko that she heard that there's this church in Makoko where they share food for free and fruit. And that was a select church. Open 24 hours. So she would go there just to collect fruit. And so she can press the banana and put it in my mouth. She said one day she was in the church when a big pastor, according to them, that I discovered later, Baba Oshofa, was passing and said, she was at the back of the church trying to give the baby something. When Baba Oshofa came and said, Talele, I said, ah, mweni joyi. Ema bini moko wajo. Omo to gbeda ni ki loru kwe. Mi iti fun loru kwe. Omo du me lo nye, she mentioned. And said, tale ni akoko to ti e shanu re to funi. Say, anti kontun je elin. Oru konye ni ko temo lori. Showari oru konye. Ma fi shere o. O le fun loru kwa mi o bo shen dagba o. If you can give her another name, but don't forget my mother said yes. And the next thing, son him Loaku. So with the son name, the one I remember very well, I can never forget. When mama took me to Onoyade Community Primary School, Fade Yaba Lagos, and they wanted to register me to primary one. Because of my small stature, he said I should use my hand and touch. He wasn't touching. <laughs> then they asked for baths, certificate. Mama said she no get. Will I give advice that you get? He shied that, you know, show him more alive. Then the teacher said, ah, since you said this is her age, We will let her go. But I saw name, we call Eline, call it Daruko. So I saw Mama trying to call a meeting. And most of my aunties were saying, no, she can't be our name. No, she can't be our name. No, she can't be our name. And one man from nowhere stood up and said, give her my name. So imagine a small child looking at this one talk, looking at this one talk, looking at this one talk. You think the child will grow up in love? Orone. Orokoro. Emo foju dimio. A comedian in Nigeria, a professor in the United States. <laughs> But there was something Mama would always tell me. No forget, say this word, wicked. If you go forget, you go fall. And anybody way near you pass, now you make you the suspect pass. <laughs> so imagine that kind of mindset. So I am very protective of my space. Tane, talo ye katun number. Tane.
But there was something that God gave me as a gift. Fine face, small body. Then I started seeing those realities where some people just think, even till date, I still face it. Helen Paul, doctor between one and Helen Paul. Then me too, maybe I, maybe I want to do something good. I'm like, Ebi apa, shege. You know? Sorry I'm speaking Yoruba. I learned from my sister. I call her Dr. Fulake, because she's going to be Dr. Lagbaro Lo. So I call her Dr. Fulake. She said, pick a language. Speak Oyibo Nira now. So, I'm me, I'm an adult girl. I know most people understand Yoruba because I speak Isha very well. So I grew up claiming Isha. But I was born in Fade Yaba, Lagos, to be precise, Shoyinka. And the uncles I grew up knowing are likes of Jiplon. Shoti Jem. I grew up hearing things like, I grew up having police run through our compound and they asked the children, I grew up hearing things So look at that kind of growth. But because I knew the gift that nobody would touch me, because Mama used to call me a traditional name, Omo Naigbe. I don't know if we have the mean, the, know the meaning of Omo Naigbe. Pastor Nike, you are too tush. <laughs> Dear Helen, <laughs> always interpret the Yoruba. Because of various tribes here. Yeah. <laughs> Love you always. <laughs> Mama Pastor Nike. Sorry, I'm always very real. And my testimony today, I'll be mentioning names, either negative or positive. So turn to your neighbor when I'm sharing my own, so I would mention no. So be careful the way you treat me. Oh. <laughs> so one thing I discover is that many of us know what to do. But the problem we lack is application. You know it, but you just lack. You know how to be humble, but you want to be humble because you want to choose who is senior. So our humility, you don't know, is both ways, both senior and junior. But you have our elders, like my, your mommy, calling your friend when they come to the house. Ah, and see me, what joke? Oh. And see me, your mommy knows that is your friend. They have so grown, they've seen it all. So the auntie to them, we oh, just honor people. So Helen Paul didn't know her mom physically for many years. But from primary school, once they are doing entire sport, I will be in front. I didn't know it was because of my height. I thought because I was sharp. <laughs> and they need to see me. Now this is the girl that have this type of background. And I didn't know what other way or who to run to except God. And I've always learned that nobody loves you except you. So if you don't love yourself, how can anyone love you? You have to love yourself and you have to make up your mind that you are a growing, you are in a growing process, like you are growing. You can't just be perfect a day. 
Everybody, oku dear kato, it remains my way go arrange them. Muti translate. So, growing up in Fadei, instead of me feeling down, God just gave me a sanguine path to let go of all those stories. Omwali, bastard, you are a nobody, you cannot. There's this Yoruba that I used to like to speak. Ah, Pastor Kendi, me lo muja mile. They said, Ele yo ni dodo kotok mommy. Which means this one will not even get to the top before she will fetch water. This one will not go even finish school before she go carry belly for me, mama. Then I don't know, from nowhere, I used to write it at the back of my notebook. Emiya dodo. Ma mommy. Ma wa shita pinyele ko waste if I want to buy So for the Igbo Kwenu in the house, I would get to the tap, I would fetch water, and I would open the tap to waste for anyone who needs it to just take. So I've always had it in mind for my childhood days that I was going to have a school, which led to the Helen Paul Theatre and Film Academy. And Massive Height College. But I realized that as I was growing, each time I achieve or attain success, I get more enemies. So I learned not to share all. So I keep some. Most especially when I became a doctor. I realized people weren't calling me much again for MC jobs and uh, comedy events. Then I started asking and some people told me, you'll be doctor now, now. <laughs> And because you don't be doctor now, your price don't go up. I said, but auntie, you have not negotiated now. And that brought tears to me. And I went to God in prayers. I cried. I said, God, is my career going to end because I'm growing? And God gave me a new concept. Alaja Donjazi. <laughs> yes, people, some people find it difficult to call Dr. Helene. I been doctor. So I noticed that sometimes you just say, Eka Soma. Unconsciously. Then I asked one uncle, ah, me man and mama been doctor. The uncle is in this church. I saw you yesterday. I'll not measure his name because he's walking. What's what I get walker? But the truth. So when I, I noticed that when I did the Elijah Don Jazzy, do ba do, people started calling. Elijah, Elijah. The the phone calls I received on Elijah Don Jazzy is more than the phone call for my graduation as a PhD holder from University of Lagos. Our mindset. If God gives it to a child, why not allow the child? There was something that happened while I was growing up in Fadei. Every afternoon coming back from school, there's this particular woman that used to sell food. And the woman would not sell to anyone except I come. And the woman would say, Helene, I'll say, Ma, collect this money for me. I will collect the money. Then she would tell me, once you get up, tell Mama to give you place, your food. Mama thought she was just giving the food. I just felt she liked me. So every day, I will, as I'm coming from school, I will branch. I will collect, 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 collect. So one day, I was coming, my usual way, ah, let me branch office, call them on you. Eh? <laughs> the next thing, 
I just saw Mama. She was outside. She stood up and ran towards the big, big ever going pot. Ran and used her leg to push the pot. And everything on the fire poured on the ground. Some in the gutters. People shouted, Mama, kill you. They go, I like the pot. You said, Ah! <laughs> This picking way be say, you think I no feel use her destiny by myself? You think I no feel use her by myself? Give her space because you don't know such So I, I was also angry, but later I understood that because Mama and that woman were friends, and of course they know the kind of child they they have. So they've told them some types of things that, oh, she's going to be wealthy, her hands are good for wealth, she has some marks, six fingers, our mindset, our culture, Yoruba, and all of that, that so she has money. So the woman automatically believes that anytime I collect money for her, she will sell and finish that pot. So mama was angry that even if you identify that, must you ever waste it? Did you see the mindset? But listen fast. But I noticed that the woman and her husband, Dalaji, would come and beg Mama every evening for a long time. So my mind, what was this? You know why it's not just to collect money? And however, this woman gives us beans. <laughs> then, they were always coming to beg Mama. And Mama, in tears, one day told them in uh, Yoruba, Pigeon language said, but not the same you know as in mama take bun and drop for me. Not the same you, your husband saying see division, say she get money, make with a protector. Not the same you walk on the help us waste them. <laughs> the same you, the same you. <laughs> then Alaji said, I will fix it. We will pray about it. But I promise you, the word of God will not come and go in vain. Or along will live wa. Lai ma she. O she maro gulu ema binu mama. Mama said no. I don't thank God. If she no see and use in children, una children, three generation, they not go see their own use. I give una seven days. Make could not retreat on her step because if I go and don't come back. <laughs> they disturbed me. The only thing I didn't do is Wolima. <laughs> so each time Alaji will consciously come and pick me with Elijah. In the evening, we will sit down, I will fold my legs, and they'll begin to pray and begin to give me on to I said, so if I should go through this. The one that is Jesus Christ, no one that 33 quickly had to go. <laughs> so that made me to be more conscious growing up. That is a tree that is very fruitful, that we all throw stones to. Without even minding if the tree will bend or going through pain. So as I realized this, I became so conscious of my circle. So I'm not sentimental to relationship. So I'm very sensitive. Um, some of my protocol guys know me. I am very sensitive to the people I have around me. The first time I meet people, I want to quickly solve their problem. I want to find out who is this person for, what's the reason? So my husband was like, sometimes you are too protective. I said, no. I understand life. Friendship for your season, friendship for your reason, friendship for life. So when I meet you, season, if it's to follow me, carry bag and make connection, I will take you to two, three shows and I'll end it. So the friendship for a season, my schoolmates for a season, then I'm conscious every time of the people that I call my mentor. Because if I'm not careful editing my circle, my mentor may end up becoming my metalator. And he go pepper my body. So I'm very sensitive. But I discovered that in a society where you're not careful, they want you to form and become what they, how they want it. 
If that is not your circle, you will chop cane. I remember my child then, once they, they used to give us books to read. Kenya Copeland, John Egan, Joyce Meyer. Once I carry those books, it's like Tyler, no. I will sleep, eh? <laughs> but immediately I carry storybook. <laughs> Gossip books. Wale show inka. I carry books, story books. I enjoy it. Then I begin to ask questions. Why did he happen like this? Why didn't he? They should have ended it like that. Okay, so this is my part. Then I follow that field of theater. Then I had people telling me, you are good, you should be a lawyer. <laughs> like, my have a one with no conclusion. Then I discovered that that thing in my head, you won't get to school, you won't finish, you won't do that, wanted me to get more. And mama wanted it that I finish well. So each time I don't come first in class, mama will fight me and beat me. The person where they carry first, not be person picking. So I remember primary four or primary five, I got first term, I came third position. Um, 13th position. I cried. I couldn't go home. Trust Friday. One uncle saw me. Why are you not going home? I said, because I was become. I was become. A husband. Mama will kill me. Mama will kill you. Make I see your results. Follow me. So I just followed the uncle. We walked from Friday to Jibo, and on getting there, the man just gave his friend, hey, Baoni, they made photocopy of the result. <laughs> Let's be quick, my, you are doing high, one minute, sitting low. <laughs> the uncle, Tipex, the theory, <laughs> made the photocopy again, very clean photocopy. When I saw what they were doing, sharp for the ebon. Omota. I just eh hey, tifi st is okay. <laughs> so the uncle now said I should keep this real one because then you must take the original one back after your parents are signed. So the uncle signed it for me and said I should keep it in my book. But this is the one I should show mama. So when I got home, I showed mama. Mama didn't see any red biro. All she saw was first. Mama started, say no boy, say no say no 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 so she carried me. I was very happy. All the compound people, ah, Ogbe first, Ogbe first. <laughs> then, Eli, Ogbe first. Yes, Ogbe first. Then when they told us to return the result, I went to meet the uncle. He said, no. He uh, said, no. I will follow you to school. Because most times when you want to return that result, your parents must follow you back. Mm. So the uncle followed me. He didn't stop at that. He followed me to school. He signed his head. Mama sent him. Mama is old. So my teachers, uh, they signed it. But guess what? Second thing, I didn't need the uncle again. I know it myself. Them. Same. 18 in school, first at home. <laughs> so when Pastor Nike mentioned the school system yesterday, I laughed. I laughed. 
Because most times, that's where we're supposed to learn from. Where our teachers need to understand styles of leadership, techniques of leadership, techniques of leadership and all of that, and apply it. But no, they want you to follow their own. Oh, feel or no. We forget to learn or to know that there are styles to leadership. What style are you using? Both for your friends, workers in the office, is it democratic, authoritarian, delegative, transformation, you know? What style are you using? Some people's leadership style is giving solution. They make you identify what the problem is and they give solution. So I use all style depending on who I'm dealing with because I understand the power of temperament. So when I'm seeing who I'm dealing with, sanguine, choleric, melancholic, phlegmatic, I see you're like, okay, mama, and my lady. If I don't deal with this person this way, me, they're on law. And I notice that most Nigerians, once it's clicked to you that this person is a comedian, is a comedian, kill more, what do you know? You don't know that sometimes the person can grow more than what you think. We want to leave that person on a certain level. And that's why I remember I just wanted to have more certifications. I just wanted to have it and I keep writing it down. Because the first day I got the word, write the vision, make it plain, that made me see and run with. So I started writing. I'll write it. Anybody that is aware of who Ellen Paul is, I used to write a lot. I saw another of my boss yesterday serving, Onkwayo Makinde. I remember in my office, Onkwayo gave me a very clean table, but that table was full of pictures and visions. I used to gum it, gum it, gum it, gum it. I will be great. I am too much. I am great. I am exceptional. There are sometimes I write Senator Helen Paul, Dr. Helen Paul. I was just writing. So most times that thing was helping me. You know, sometimes I would look at the mirror, you are too beautiful. And I had all brown sets of teeth, which is meant to have given me complex, inferiority complex. But guess what? God did not let me see that. I was too vocal. Because my best song growing up too was, Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And my next prayer, our Father, what in heaven? And after that, the Lord is my shepherd. Those were my morning devotion growing up. It might be very small, but they are powerful. How many of us have those prayers for our children? So when I got into... You need Lauren. Before they gathered money in our area, I need you. Before I go to school, you think I'm traveling out. More than six people followed me to Ojota Car Park. <laughs> Before I got to uni Lauren, got there, I didn't know anybody. Admission closed. Registration finished. They said registration closed two weeks ago. They said, but if I'm from Quara State, they can help me. They tried as I'm not Quara. I tried to go and swear at David around one hospital area, like, to say Quara. <laughs> After we did that, till 15, that's when they now told us that, you know, why I care, I don't So I kept it that way. But guess what? I met a lecturer there. And I tried to the lecturer that I can't go back to Lagos. My mommy would cry because she was very happy about the admission. How do I go and tell her? That's... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can I stay with you? I can write another exam in this state and I will pass. And the man said, ha. I said, Joe, my mother would die. And he said, no, I can only allow you a few days. Then when you are okay, you can go. And the man allowed me to stay in his house without knowing him more. You know, some of us are very fast in judging. Why would she go and sleep in a man's house? Why is he fitting fat? Typewriter. So when people are talking, I just tell them, how long will it be? It feels sharp. You say, ha ha. Our callings are different, just like the five-fold ministry. The apostolic, different. 
<laughs> Prophets are different. Evangelists are different. Pastors are teachers are nice. They want mama shall lie. If I give you the message, you don't take it while lie. It feels like I'm a bit blunt, but the truth is I'm a serious choleric. But on the outside, sanguine opens doors for me. So I discover my style and I use it well. All right. So I stayed in the man's house. The second day he was going to the class, I followed him. As he was teaching dance, when they were writing attendance, I wrote my name. Then I went to him, sir, I don't know what name I will write on this number. He said, that is matric number. You know what? I will feel it. And that man is known as Professor Felix. Little did I know that he will be transferred to University of Lagos. He ended up being my PhD supervisor. I worked at Eco FM as a receptionist, and as a receptionist, they used to give us rank, front desk manager. But as a receptionist, many people will look down on the receptionist as nobody. I'm here to see your boss, especially now that there's phone. Like, um, I'm here to see Larry. You know that is the receptionist. Why not just put Mr. Larry? Uh, this is Larry. Then as a naughty, playful child, I also, I don't know who Larry is, except you're asking for Mr. Larry, sir. <laughs> and I always notice that they make recommendation of my boss to my boss that, ah, this girl is tough, and I'll pass. I remember one superstar then saw me at the reception, and he was coming in with alcoholic drink, and I said, sir, it's not allowed. And the man said, Alele, who are you? <laughs> and of course, a child that grew up hearing that she's a bastard, that <laughs> is what she cannot take. So like a cobra. <laughs> Sir, I also don't know who you are. Can you please move back? <laughs> Imagine a tiny body doing that to an adult. And the man said, you talk to me like that? I said, I don't know you. So the PA, you don't know him, he's a star. I said, I've never seen him on CNN and I don't watch local channels. <laughs> The man till tomorrow is my friend. And after that day when, we were when he was leaving, he ended up giving me 5,000 dash. <laughs> when I was small, I used to pray. I would say, oh Lord, when I heard that God created the world with words. Ah, ah. Oh Lord, give me these words. I want to be able to retaliate. Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> As they give me, let me, what? Let my words be like a weapon, since your words are powerful. And guess what? Whatever you ask God, he will give you. I have it all, in different sizes. <laughs> Why? The mind. So I was always ready for battle. And I prayed, God, please, I don't want fear to be able to face anyone. If it's the money somebody will give me to ridicule you in me, please don't let me collect it. So instead of me asking for the favor, I go inside with my sharp mouth. The one I'm outside. But God answers prayers. The Lord that answered my prayers, I will sing praises to you. Answer, answer, amen. So, my first degree, a guy called Sunji Oyewo came to our studio. And Tunji said, Helen, what school did you graduate from? I said, Tunji, I'm not in school. He said, why? I said, I'm tired. I've tried if it didn't work. I tried uni learning. He said, let's try uni lag. I said, look, anything that will not come to me in ease, I'm not going to also. 
Is that this one? You're not even hustling because my uncle is the dean of arts, University of Lagos, can you call theater, um, arts. I said, really? He said, yes. I said, so what do I need to do? He said, buy form. I said, what kind of form? He said, it's called evening form. Your certificate is the same thing as people that did jam and everything. I said, okay, I release my faith, let's go. I didn't know what it was, but I just followed Sunji. On getting there, they called the amount, and I told Sunji, is it me that will pay? No, Sunji, in case the wife bar me, use your money first. <laughs> and Sunji gave me, paid for it, and I saw my name in the newspaper admission without writing jam, and I went straight with my waek, one sitting. So till date, it's still functional, evening. So in case you are still looking for a way to get to Unilag, ask for ICT, process of entry. Only that is expensive. Because most of us, what we lack is information. Then people abroad, a quick one, they tell you that once you get abroad, Nigerian certificates do not work, is a lie. It works. Only that most of us studied what we cannot defend. And abroad, they need you to be able to defend what you have studied. And that's why microbiology now is selling wigs. <laughs> then when they now get outside, you'll not be hearing, I'm not the blind. <laughs> you studied English, I'm not the blind. <laughs> I am the sister of the <laughs> blind. All right, so a quick one. Sunji Oyewo helped me into University of Lagos. Ayua Deife, who is also a Desta member, was my boss in um, Ecorio Mix Studios, will always send me to buy his food and leave change. Thank you. <laughs> when I got into the University of Lagos, many of the people who are my friends in Eco FM didn't follow me, neither did I ask of Ellen Paul until I became a star and they expect that you will come for their birthday free of charge. <laughs> From the University of Lagos, God helped me. I went to visit a friend who was called Matthew. Oh, he's still Matthew. Matthew, how are you? So Matthew told me that he wouldn't have time and connected me to radio presentation that I should just use my voice to just make noise and hold on till his main presenters will come in. So I got on radio and I was just talking. Now, wow, this life fun, yo. Hey, they said I don't bring president. Now, life so, Fusha William don't go. Hey, Jehovah. I was talking. And people were asking, who is that girl? Before I knew it, Martin started begging me to please come back to the studio to continue presenting. Free heart. Open heart, I started going to the radio. From Unilag, I would jump on bike, I will go to the radio. And one day, I was on radio talking, abusing elders about Lagos, Nigeria. I didn't know they were the owners of the station. <laughs> Only for them to say they should call me. And the person I used to know as the Ogakpatakpata, Femi, the good ultimate starch man voice. Just rushed. Bah! Where's that? Where's that girl? Where's that girl? Martin. I said I should come and be presenting. <laughs> Threw me under the bus. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and the man just held my hand. Come with me, come with me. Dragged me. In my heart. I just remembered as a receptionist in the co FM that ah, some people as a presenter from a studio, they enter prison. Ah, Moti Shisa. <laughs> Many journalists are in the prison, mind you. You people, they will write you, people say, good, but when trouble comes, after one week, you forget them. So the next thing, they took me to the elders. On getting there, I saw the elders. And the first elder looked at me and said, are you the one? I said, yes. And in my heart, I was just asking God, boldness, boldness. Igbuya, along with Igbuya, boldness. <laughs> Guess what? Immediately, the man asked me, are you sure you are the one? I said, yes. The other one sat down. <laughs> In my heart, Igbuya, along. 
the boldness of God. And the next thing, I saw that. They said I should repeat the voice. I repeated the voice. And they all busted into laughter. Then they're like, <laughs> Because I, I was abusing that. Lagos State have not finished drinking. Lagos citizens have not finished drinking water. They are feeding flour. You know, so I was talking about it. And they all started bringing up envelope. Big, big envelopes. Take, you are talented. Take, you are talented. So I was collecting money. Then when it got to the main ogre, I don't know where the boldness, because I called for boldness, gave me his envelope. I said, no, sir. He said, why? I said, the employment money is show, sir. Uncle Ayo. You are in the house because you work here. Uh -huh. Are you marking day? And that was how they said, oh yeah, employ her. And God gave me another answer. Boom. Ask them. Tell them that you've been working for a while. And I said, excuse me, sir. Motin Shishenbi for do or do major tabo. Me o bowori ele do mommy. They said, what? Femi? Yes, sir. But that all the money every month. And when they gave me my letter of employment as a radio presenter, I was already famous entering Okada. <laughs> I'm the best Okada rider. <laughs> and I was rich. But guess what? I didn't feel like I was rich. The money was just piling up. And one day, the, HR, the admin manager, Sumbo, who is now in the UK, Sumbo said, Helen, there's a land, property, they are selling so, 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 please. He said, I told them to keep one acre, except you don't want one acre. My head was looking at one plot. And I said, how much? She mentioned. I said, the buffet will okay. She said, call check. I said, okay. And I wrote. It was the day I went to the land. When I've agreed to Boda Femi that will marry him. It was Boda Femi that knew the meaning of that one acre. My own is Mukoni Lembiko. I forgot that I told God I wanted to have a school. But God was fixing things for me. My time is up, but what I'm trying to say quickly is that there's nothing you ask of him that it will not answer. But how pure is your heart? Even when you know that you are fixing your attitude, your heart, God said, I need you to worship me in spirit and in truth. Not in front of camera tears. In spirit and in truth. People kept complaining about my attitude. Then I wrote, I wanted to write an exam in our church. Because I didn't attend one class, they didn't allow me to attend it. Thank you, the projector guys, I love this. They didn't allow me. Guess what happened? My friend, I asked, what church is bigger than our church? That if I go and write their exam, it will pepe our pastor. <laughs> and my friend said, have you heard the church called Desta? I said, what are they doing there? He said, ah, 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 I remember that church, okay? Because then in the choir, they used to say we should go and study the way they sing. So we would enter bus from Ogba to come and study their choir. It was K-Sticks then. And this was not the place. It was the other building. So I used to score, you don't know the oil of the oil. Oh, you don't know the cost of my pain. But when I came to this start, the way they sang it, pronunciation yoni. Uh-uh. Then you know here, hell. Me, I used to do, oh, happy day. But this style is, hell, happy day. Oh, happy day. He hates me. He didn't like my life, is he? So I wanted it. So when I heard the name of the church again, I said, I'm going there. And I paid. Then I called all my friends. Don't forget this time I already have money. I called all my friends in Unilag. Let's go. And we all came for the Day Star Leadership Academy.
Please show my results. Show my results. Please show my results, projector, before we come to flare up. Ah, old bend. Yay. The only cause I failed is personal transformation. Every other cause, A, 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 A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. So I know it. I know what it is to be classy. But I've told God, anything that will make me proud, take it off. Humility, oh God. So, God took that off. But I know all of these things. Is that personal transformation? That is still my problem till tomorrow. <laughs> Yesterday, I dressed well. Today, I wore a boga. <laughs> In a corporate setting. Olomwara. Because Pastor Nike spoke against our pinafore. So I went to look for pinafore. Don't speak against our pinafore because you can wear your pinafore with style. All we need is what Pastor Sam does. Continuous teaching. Continuous teaching. Explanation. I am a prefect. I will not tell them to stop picking prefects because I am one of the naughty prefects. I didn't know better. If I had gotten a teacher who also is knowledgeable to tell us that that position is not to intimidate, is to do like this, is to do like that, I would have done better. But they made all of us think that leadership role is as they command. Because me too, I used to stand in front of the school once I'm rolling my cane with my small body. <laughs> you will see everybody, senior lipo, senior lipo. And there's no way you want to run through. My cane will touch you. <laughs> I didn't know better. So why some children faced bullying, we were the bully. Everybody must have a position. I remember a guy I loved telling me that Helen, I heard that your attitude is not good and this is not what I want as a wife. I will not want a liability. I told you to study law, you study theater. I want an asset. And the day I went to London, the guy came to the show and wrote a letter. Helen, it is, please, I'm outside. I came because it's your show. I already bought the regular ticket. And I replied, that is your seat, stay there. I do not also like liability. <laughs> anyway, my email address is, not that I paid back evil. Most of you want ready-made. You want to reap where you did not sow. When I wanted to buy my house in Atlanta with my husband, I didn't know who to call, but yet I'm famous. But I'm very conscious. I don't want you sharing my testimony for me. Let me share it. Some of you will do me good. You want me to go on Instagram. Mm -mm. So I faced God and God told me to call somebody. Who is this person? When I heard her name, I'm like, Maje. am I a member? Am I a friend? And the next day my husband came to me. We were very spirit-filled. Sweetheart, are you close to Pastor Adeyemi? I heard she's around. I said, which Pastor Adeyemi? Sam. He said, yes. I said, ah. He said, I don't know. I just have a feeling that you can talk to the wife. The house needs to go. Take, for instance, a house you're meant to deposit, maybe like 60K, and you already have like 45. How, what's the connection? The next thing I looked for a number and I called her, hello, ma. Guess what I told her? God said I should call you, ma. <laughs> Mommy, can you remember? God said I should call you. You remember the way I told you? that you should borrow us. <laughs> then make sure you have a contract, ma. So if we don't pay in the next two months, ma, you can do whatever you like, ma. Imagine that kind of Igboya, boldness. <laughs> and the next thing she said, Eli Paul, I'm so happy to hear from you. You're also here, here. Oh yeah, come, 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 come. <laughs> and I told my husband, I said, ah, mama, yeah, man, in, come, come, come. <laughs> Then Pastor Nick and I wrote. <laughs> Pastor Nick is saying time is up. Testimony of Paul. This mind shift is a big topic. So Pastor Nick gave me the $10,000.
And after a few days, I went back to her. I said, my 10,000 is ready. She said, and you still want to pay it? I said, that's what I said now. I stand by the word. I want to pay. Next time you can borrow me any other money. So as she gave me, guess what? My mind did not rest. That's how the devil plays with your mind. <sighs> if he can give you 10,000, he can do more. So that's how some of us behave. But if you don't learn to control your mind, your mind will toy with you. Then I called her again, Ma. This time I did not say, God, I just said, Ma, can I quickly get $5,000? And she said, Come. I went to her, she gave me the $5,000. Then by the third day, I called her, Hello, Ma. My mind couldn't rest. Ma, the $5,000, you can have that one, please. I'm like, Oh, Ma. But I never went back. <laughs> so that's what happens when you don't control your mind. Your mind will make you misbehave that you can't even go back again for another favor. The spirit of continuous. So you ask God, God do this for me, but to pay your tithe is difficult. That's why you now begin to ask for questions. Is tithe necessary? <laughs> he has given you, he has given you. Control your mind. Be careful the people that's uh, around you. If you are very gifted and you are very big and God is using you, if you are not careful, you will surround yourself with too much crowd that will distract you. At the end of the day, you begin to get fucked out. But you must learn that that does not mean that I will not forgive. I have the spirit of forgiveness, love, accountability, respect, and excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, I purposely shared my story, not in a tragic way, and that's why I did a lot of playful comedy. But I know that one or two people have picked their own lessons from this. Glory be to God. So my name is Helen Paul, finished from the University of Lagos, first degree, and I studied basic presentation, FRCN, executive masters in media and communication, Lagos Business School, University of Lagos Masters as my, se or my second Masters, Lautech MBA third Masters, Lautech MPA fourth Masters, and now PhD University of Lagos. Then when I got to the United States, what took me abroad was the PhD from the University of Lagos. I didn't have visa, they rejected me the visiting visa. But let me tell you something. When you run to God, he will answer you. When you call on him, so he will answer you. The only person I had with all my experience in life is God. Because when man should do it, they will come back and ask what they have given you. But when God gives you a funima sirigu, he would give you forever. And when I moved to America, it was so easy. All of a sudden, people started looking for me to the point that a school came and they said they wanted to give me honorary doctorate. And I said, I already have the main PhD. I didn't buy Kutonu. <laughs> so please, I would not take that. And they said, what can we do? I said, make me a member or board of your school and give me a better offer. And they said, what if we promote you to a professor? I said, ah, oh, I will be glad. <laughs> so the people that find it difficult to even call me doctor, they will be forced now. They won't want to call professor, so they will still call the doctor. Thank you. My name remains Helen Paul.